All right, so uh, I know there definitely isn't anywhere near like a market for FNAF World videos, but uh, I was just replaying it recently because FNAF World is the best uh, FNAF game, uh, followed very closely by FNAF VR, and you cannot convince me otherwise. Um, but this is just a quick like tutorial on how uh, how I usually get characters really fast in my playthroughs uh all right so i've kind of as you could see right then i kind of already have a lot of characters but um what you really want to do hold on let me get out of the glitch world uh what you want to do really is just let's just go here for now okay so sorry about that what you really want to do is find get the fine characters chip now or not fine oh yeah you need fine characters but you also really want run luck uh you can find run luck like really quickly just playing casually uh, i actually don't remember where i got it but trust me if you try your hardest to go across any chests that you find yeah uh, you'll find it and then equip it in your uh chips inventory um, and then as for the fine characters chip, you will find it down in this area. Basically what you have to do is once, once you enter right here, you just kind of go down and then through, and basically you just keep going all the way through using this map until you go and see this red dot under the wood. That right there is a boss. Which is why I recommend having some good characters before then. But right behind it, him is a chest uh, that is that has the fine characters chip. All right, so even without the fine characters chip, here is the best way to uh, get characters, which is uh, you go into the glitched world and. There's many places where you can do this. It doesn't matter where you do it because the entire glitched world has the same enemies. But essentially, there's one right here at the dove. So I'm just going to use that for an example. Uh, and so what you want to do, you walk up into it. This kind of goes for everything else. You can search up glitched world entrances uh, online if you want to know where those are. But uh, TLDR... Essentially what you want to do is go around until you find uh, an enemy and then uh, Like this can take just a second. There you go. Then immediately start trying to run um, Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't work as well. If it doesn't work as well Then yeah, well then you're screwed, but that's why run luck is kind of important and plus, remember, even if you die, it's not too big a deal. But yeah, see, even if you run, sometimes you get a character. So you kind of just rinse and repeat until you've got some good characters. Uh, I can give some pointers as to what characters I'd recommend here in a second. Uh, by the way, this is just kind of a really cr crazy build. Uh... Because Springtrap, I mean, I know that these two are dead, but it, it's kind of a glass cannon build because you can either, um, you'll either win because, uh, the spring locks damage is so high or you will fail miserably, uh, entirely because, um, uh, because you didn't get gift boxes fast enough. Gift boxes is the central need for that entire strat. Um, for that entire team strat, that is. But yeah, as you can see, you just kind of walk around and stuff. That's really all. That's really all that's to it. Uh, if uh, Save in between every battle, I would recommend. After you get a character, always save. Go and check what they do. Like I just got Marionette. Uh, he's got prize ball, mystery box, escape key. I don't really care too much about that. Uh, by the way, there's a second method if you don't want to grind for characters without the find characters chip. Um, and that would be uh, to use phantom marionette once you find him. 
uh, with Mystery Box 2, which will give you random characters, and you, and because it's the upgraded version, it will give you a lot more. Um, okay, uh, last things, uh, last, uh, I recommend before going in, because remember, you can get, you can kind of get, um, the stuff that you need, like, long before you, um, get the fine characters chip. So, right up here, there's usually a chest, uh, and if you grab it, you get auto shield, which is that shield that's in front of me. Um, it's really, really good for, you know, making sure that you don't die. Uh, even, even, like, outside of the glitch dimension, it's good. And just, in general, would recommend. Uh, but yeah, that's really all that's to this guy. There isn't much else, so have a good one.